surprise i know today is not the day i usually upload it's not even been half a week and here i am with the next one i was just too pumped too pumped 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 too excited to share this one with you here we go hi I'm just kidding. What's up everybody? How are you doing? I just have this afternoon to shoot because tomorrow again I'm traveling which is today for you because I shot this video yesterday. It's okay. I'm traveling to <laughs> Secret AR. I told you Hashtag #remote place. <laughs> Coming back to the title of the video. No, it's not clickbait. I really mean it. It's true. I've always had this one regret. My biggest regret after having done the coolest, the funnest, funnest? Is that even a word? <laughs> one of the most happening course in undergrad college bmm bachelor of mass media bachelor of mass media bachelor bachelor so funny when they call it bachelor bachelor bande of mass media ye hona chahiye bande for you to understand my regret i'll need to give some context to it or maybe it can be mmb mass media ke bacche <laughs> i'm sorry for that how to pronounce okay pronunciation dictionary ludwig van beethoven Ludwig van Beethoven. Ludwig. Ludwig van Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven. I'm sure you know him or at least have heard of him. For those who haven't, he is one of the greatest and the most influential music composers of all times. He was a German who started playing music at a very early age in his life. I think way before than he was even a teenager and earned a living out of it. What's so unique about him is that at the age of 26, he started hearing these buzzing noises and other sounds in his ears, which basically meant that he was going deaf. It was really tough for him. I mean, for a musician to go deaf is like death. By the time he turned 32 he became so frustrated that he wanted to end his life. He even wrote a suicide note to his brothers called the Heligenstadt Testament. That's the name of a place. Somewhere towards the end of that note he had this realization, this amazing sort of awakening that he wrote something which became the turning point of his life. He wrote, "It seemed impossible for me to leave this world before I had produced all that I felt capable of producing." This was his point of rebirth. His point to not give up before creating all that he ever felt capable of creating. He never sent that letter and set himself back into composing the most remarkable symphonies. Beethoven's 3rd symphony, 4th symphony, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, all of them were written after that. His hearing kept getting worse and he even reached a creative deadlock where for several years he could not produce a single composition. People lost interest in his creations. He had an unhappy love affair, financial hardships, death in the family, I mean every possible challenge. In the middle of all this he commenced writing the 9th symphony, the most breathtaking symphonies of all times. It's called Ode to Joy. Actually I'd like to play you this one. Can I? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> back up I'll also record it on my phone okay I'm playing after a long time no I'm just kidding I rehearsed before the video <laughs> one take <laughs> when i got admission in bmm my first year of college was full of excitement enthusiasm i was like this course is so awesome college life is so amazing i was so passionate to create stuff to learn new things in class participate in college festivals do something or the other all the time by the time second year passed and third year came everything just gradually died and i started to as my professor said float through the course abhishek please leave <laughs> man good times <laughs> I do not believe that I produced everything I felt capable of producing before I graduated. My college life ended on a note where I let many of my ideas, my plans, my goals incomplete and I was okay with it. Now when I think of it as a student of mass media studying in Bombay, I could have done so much more, created so many more films that I really felt capable of creating. Hi. Hello. Right. That's okay. Hold on. 
how much ever we'll get everything is just moving so fast i have to do so many things these films are killing me <laughs> it's good only i'm liking it Okay, it's not as bad as it looks like. I did well and I'm happy about it. And I guess now is the time for me to prove myself. By the way, I will tell you. I'm traveling. I'm going tomorrow to shoot the next one. Yeah, we only out of town. <laughs> out of town. Feels like it's a second chance I've given myself to create all that stuff I've ever wanted to create. I will not float through it this time. <laughs> it's crazy. What if I told you I'm going just for the video? can believe that <laughs> yeah oh god i'm loving this okay sopnil help me shoot some good b roll okay these films these videos are my ninth symphony Okay, I have to go back and pack now. The next film is going to be unbelievable, unimaginable, under water.